And one thing about me, I do not do cold. I hate the cold weather. I need to release some endorphins. British climate is just the enemy in so many ways sometimes. <laughs> Hi, thanks for stopping by my channel. It's Shell Valarola here. And today is one of those days where I'm feeling like I need to get out and skate. Like I need to release some endorphins <laughs> to just, yeah, I feel like I need to get out, put my headphones in and just skate all my cares away. Usually it's so much easier when the weather's right. Only thing is it's really cold, you know, typical, British climate is just the enemy in so many ways sometimes. And one thing about me, I do not do cold. I hate the cold weather. So if like me, skating is an outlet for you, a medium for you to just release and free your mind, soul, body, all of that, then I'm gonna show you how I layer my clothes in order to skate in the cold weather. So if you're tired of letting the cold weather stop you, then keep watching. I think this video will help you out. So the first layer of clothing directly touching your skin should be that of a synthetic material blend, which wicks away sweat. And here are a few examples. Now keep in mind that the worst material to wear next to the skin while skating in cold weather is cotton, as when it gets wet with perspiration, it sticks to the body, reducing its insulation and encouraging your body heat to escape. Now personally, my legs don't tend to get as cold as my upper body, so I only wear two layers, and that's these leggings and a pair of joggers, which are cotton and very warm. and I will pair them with this hoodie. But any warm and woolly top would work for this second layer, such as a fleece or a jumper. To keep your head nice and toasty, it's necessary to wear a hat while skating outdoors in cold weather. I'm opting for a woolly hat which covers my ears too. But if you need, you can add some earmuffs. Now your third layer of clothing should keep out the cold air and the wind. This is a lightweight, wind resistant jacket and it really does a good job of making sure that cold air doesn't get through. Generally, anything rain and water resistant is also wind resistant. Protect your hands and feet also. I'm wearing some gloves which are very, very warm and thick and woolly. And my socks are too. I know some people like to wear two pairs of socks and you can do that if you feel it's necessary. And finally, I have a little bum bag which I've adjusted the straps on so I can fling it over my shoulder and it can hold my essentials including my tissues and lip balm because skating in cold weather really does make my nose run and my lips dry <laughs> and we can't have that. So to recap you want to layer yourself up in three layers of clothing including a first layer of sweat wicking material Next should be a warm cotton or woolly second layer and you would finish off with a wind resistant, lightweight and breathable jacket. And don't neglect your head and hands. You can wrap up that extra bit more with a hat and a pair of gloves. I've even popped on a scarf off camera too. And if you follow these steps, you should now be ready to brave the cold and get your skate on.